This is KMBT's Community Connection. Good morning and welcome to this edition of KMBT's Community Connection. I'm Amanda Hardy. Now it's that time again, I almost hate to say it, but school is just around the corner. Now you've got your supplies, your back to school clothes and everything else, but here's something else you might want to think about doing before you hit the books. Joining me today is Brian Higgins with Success Martial Arts to tell us about a special back to school ninja camp. Hi Brian, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Great, well thanks for being here with us. Tell us what this ninja camp is all about. Well, the kids get a chance to come in, and of course, every kid wants to you know, be a ninja. Right. Um, they get their own ninja uniform that they get to keep. They get a full set of weapons that they're going to get a chance to keep. And it's one of those cases where the kids come in to do something fun that they want to do. Right. And then I sneak in a whole bunch of lessons when they're not looking. What's, what are some of the lessons that you're going to be teaching them? Well, it's, a, it's kind of a natural connection, as awkward as that may seem to some people, that if you're going to be a ninja and you're going to sneak up on people, well, then you have to be able to be still. Right. And you have to be able to be quiet. And you have to be able to concentrate. Well, doesn't that sound kind of like school? I'm sure that teachers will love you for teaching the kids this. <laughs> right, and so it gives the kids a chance to, to bone up on those skills in a fun way yeah. um, before they head back to school. Sounds like a great, a great idea. So what are some of these things that we have here? Well, we brought some of the toys to show everybody. This is the staff, and it's actually shorter staff because it's for children. Right. Um, it's got a lightweight wood core, and then it's padded around the outside. These are some of the things that they're going to be using, right? Right, right. And, and the nice thing is that the kids get to practice with them, and they get a realistic feel, but nobody gets hurt. They're safe. They're, oh. they're squishy, they're not going to hurt anybody. Absolutely, Don't absolutely. Don't worry, Mom. Yeah, e even the stars, right? they got little suction cuppies on them. Um, and so it, it, it's all safe, but it's all in good fun. And the kids get a chance to have a unique kind of an experience. Now, when is this going on? It's the 14th through the 18th of August. It's from 9 to 11 in the morning, so it's two hours each morning. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, we do a special field exercise, and we usually go out in the canyon somewhere and actually sneak up on each other and, and kind of do it for real. The kids have a lot of fun doing Great. it. Great. And they're going to go home with a lot of things, right? Um, the price includes um, things to wear. Absolutely. They get their own uniform. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have our own little ninja in the studio today. This is Shane, Brian's um, son. Shane, tell us about this ninja camp. It's going to be a lot of fun, right? Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Um, about a year, probably. What's your favorite thing about being a ninja and learning about these kind of things? I like sneaking up on people. <laughs> Great. Tell us, um, you know, this definitely can go from, you know, ninja camp to school and everyday life. What are some of the things that you want kids to go away with when they, when well, they leave? I think a greater appreciation for some of the work that goes into things. I think kids see a lot of stuff on TV mm -hmm. and they don't understand or respect it. They think it, it's somehow magical. And it's not magical. It, it's a product of hard work when you see that, that UFC fighter or that wrestler guy or, or the, the guy in the movie, the Jet Li guy. You know, none of that's magic. That's all a, a product of hard work. Um, and then again, to have the, the discipline, the respect, the, the confidence to be ready to go back to school. Right. So, um, you know, this class, who is this class for? Well. Um, I like to accommodate as many kids and as much of a variety as we can. What we found is under third grade, they have a hard time um, with the being still in the concentrating right. part. Um, and it's a lot of times it's not fair to the older kids if we mm -hmm. have to spend a bunch of time chasing little ones. So we usually say, you know, eight and up right. is about right. And I've had adults do this camp, and we have a great time with it. Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, if you have a kid at home that you think might be inter interested in this, we'll get the information back up on the screen for you. Again, it's going to be August um, 11th through the 14th. And it's $187. That includes all your equipment. It's going to be a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it. And I just, um, I just want to thank you again for coming in. Thank you. And thank you, Southern Idaho, for stopping by. If there's something that you want to see on Community Connection, if there's somebody that you would like to see or a topic that you'd like to talk about, give us a call here at this station. Shows are booked three weeks in advance, so be sure to get your requests in early. Thank you, Southern Idaho.